Vancouver Mall is the living room of our community. It's a cultural center, an iconic center for a lot of different families. Whether you're two years old coming to see Santa Claus for the first time, or you're someone who likes to walk around the mall early in the morning to get out of the bad weather, there's something here at this mall for you and for your family. A lot of people come, they gather here, they do their shopping, whether it's back to school or holiday shopping or other times of the year. You know, I come down here regularly myself for birthday presents and things of that sort. But, you know, not only does it represent a place for gathering, but a lot of jobs are created right here at the mall. Of course, sales tax is our biggest uh, beneficiary uh, as a city. There's just a, such a variety of, of stores and outlets here and opportunities to socialize that it's just a cool place to hang out. Once in a while when my life gets a little bit stressful and I just want an hour of just invisible time, you know the joke among moms and maybe it's the same with dads is that you can find a little invisible time at the mall and you can touch fabrics and get something good to eat, get a cup of coffee and just kind of rest and relax. At the same time, the mall can be that place where you bring your kids, where you want to engage. And I get to see what my daughter's into these days in terms of her fashion. Uh, the mall represents many things. It's exciting being inside of a, uh, you know, a mall. I mean, you've, you've got customers that, um, that drop their kids off to go to the movies while they shop, which is a really nice amenity. Um, even here in Brewtopia, often uh, parents will come to the movies with their kids and one, one or more of the parents will slip away and just have a beer. You know, we have 50 beers on tap. So they'll come have a beer for a little while and then check back into the movie, so. You know, a lot of memories have been created um, with families here in our community over the years. And I think, uh, consequently, people think of this as a place to come and grab a bite to eat, maybe have a little bit of fun at the arcade, come to a movie, do their shopping. And so it, it very much becomes a hub of activity uh, right here in Southwest Washington, not just in the city of Vancouver, but for the entire region. The mall represents many different things. It is a center of commerce and the tax dollars that are generated right from this center and all of these stores. But this shopping center is a little bit more than just producing revenue. This is a centerpiece. For Vancouver Mall, we really wanted to make it relevant. It had become dated. Uh, the competition south of the river was all remodeled in the last two or three years. So we wanted to become relevant so the shopper didn't need to go south of the river and that the retailers were attracted by putting their new stores here. So when the customers came home from working down in Portland, they could you know, go out to eat here, they could go to a movie here, they could shop here and never have to go south of the river till they went to work again. I mean, I can remember back when there was wood wood frame structure, exposed wood frame structure. It was kind of dark in here, but you see as our community has grown and as Westfield has recognized the importance of this place in our community, uh, so too has come the effort to bring it up to, uh, up to today's standards. And it's really an amazing place to come visit now. I don't think that there's any better team bonding experience than going through a redevelopment together. The process took us probably from a year from groundbreaking to when we were finished and there were a lot of long hours and we really learned how to work together as a team. I think some of the cool things that we did with Vancouver is we started on the outside in. We have nine different freeway signs that say Westfield Vancouver Mall out on the freeways to lead you here. We then put an iconic sign right up on Highway 500 that's now telling you exactly where we are. My personal favorite addition to the mall is actually the chessboard in front of Macy's. I was surprised how well the community has loved it. I've never walked by that in the year and a half I've been here that someone's not using it, whether it's 10 in the morning or 10 o'clock at night. People just seem to like that old school chess and checkerboard. One of the great things that we were able to do with this redevelopment is bring in a new play space for our families to enjoy. And in conjunction with that, we built a new state-of-the-art beautiful family lounge. Peace Health reached out to us and we were able to develop a partnership with them that serves both of our communities. I think that now we're probably, if not the best, one of the best looking centers in the market. Well, it's wonderful that the, that the Westfield Corporation has invested so much money in the remodel of this mall because it is recognized as a centerpiece here in our community. It's evolved as our community has grown. I see the property in the future being the number one destination for anyone who lives north of the river. If they want to go shopping, if they want to go out to eat, if they want to go see a movie, they'll think of Vancouver Mall first. This is Vancouver, USA, and this is our mall. This is Vancouver, USA, and this is our mall. This is Vancouver, USA, and this is our mall. 
This is Vancouver, USA, and this is our mall. I'm the mayor of the city of Vancouver. We are Vancouver, USA, and this is our mall.